Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Brushes and Bunnies, and in this video, we're going to be trying out a brand new art subscription box called Artful. So the guys at Artful were kind enough to send this to me and to basically give me the opportunity to try it out. I did receive the box a few days ago and I've been itching to open it ever since I received it in the post. The box is adorable. As you can see, the illustrations are really, really cute. So this is the front side and this is the back side. I really love the cute fat little animal. I love the packaging so far, so I'm really excited to open it up and see what's inside and to basically create a piece of art with whatever art supplies are in the box. So without further ado, let us open the box and see what's inside. So we have the box here and off the bat I can say that the box is quite heavy so I could assume that there's a lot of art supplies in here. I was reading on their website that this art box is actually a quarterly subscription box so it's not monthly and that means that the box probably has a lot more than the average monthly um, subscription box which is pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and basically just rip this, oh, rip this <laughs> open. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Woo, exciting. Let's see what's inside. Oh. oh, this is cool. So the inside of the box has a different pattern, which is really cute. Um, and they say, we want to see what you can do with your box. Share your creativity with hashtag Artful and follow us on Instagram at Artfulbox. And the inside of the box is very well packaged. Ooh. There is something here, issue one. I believe this is their magazine. At least I think it is. We'll take a look at that after. So let us open this up. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, okay. So we have, oh my gosh. Yo, their packaging is next level. So let's unwrap this. Oh my god! Okay. Wow, there's so many! Okay, what do we have here? So, first and foremost, we have these Posca, Posca? I don't quite know how to pronounce them, but we've got four of them. These I've seen quite often, and a lot of artists actually use them and create beautiful art with it. I've always wanted to give these a go, so I'm actually quite excited that I have them in this box. And uh, we have aqua green, we have light pink, apricot, and light green, and these colors all go together and you can create some really cool art with that. So I can't wait to try these out. Apart from that, we've got a couple other things. We have a water-based marker or fine liner, I believe. Okay, we're gonna have to test these out because I don't quite know what I got here, but this is, I think we got two of them. So we've got a light gray one and we also have a black one. And these seem to be like fine liners or markers with a pointed tip. So we're gonna try these out. We also got a drafting pencil. Ooh, this one looks fancy. This is a fancy one. And we have a fine liner. Ooh, look at the tip on that one. Look at the tip on this one. This one looks like it's gonna be fun to draw with. And we have another one here, a mono twin tip marker. Oh man, these markers are really cool. And we have a little itty bitty eraser. We have a sketchbook and this sketchbook is quite thick, which looks really cool. So there's actually, there's no detail about the sketchbook or what kind of paper we're dealing with. Um, also about the thickness. A paper's thickness is quite important to me just because I tend to use lots of like either gouache, watercolor and or ink. I really don't want the material to bleed on the other side of the paper. In this case, I would assume that the paper is rather thick and it actually is for illustrative work with markers and ink. So I don't think I'll have that problem. It is soft to the touch, so there's no texture, which is really nice. And I believe it could be an A5 size, I'm not sure. So this is their Artful magazine, and it is so cute. This is issue one for their very first box. Okay, this is so cute. I'm gonna have to take a look at this later on um, and read through it because this is so cute, I love it. So together with these markers, this eraser, the pencil, and the little sketchbook, we're going to be creating a work of art. 
Not gonna lie, I was a little bit intimidated to work with these Posca markers just because it's something that is completely out of my element. I tend to stick to basically graphite pencil like sketches and or watercolor slash squash. I have kind of been struggling with trying to figure out my style when it comes to coloring in a sketch and or doing a painting. I've been jumping back and forth a lot between oil painting and uh, watercolor gouache work and I just can't really find what is right for me and it's been bothering me for a very long time. So being able to work with something completely different like Posca markers, it was definitely a breath of fresh air and I loved every second of it. Now when it comes to working with something like Posca markers, you really have to change the way that you color in a piece. With these types of markers, it's kind of like a paint marker with one solid, thick, opaque color coming out of the marker. And the challenge for me when it came to this was to find a way to make contrasting elements and or create kind of a gradient, which is not really technically possible. Maybe if I would have had two of the same color in a different tone, that could have worked. But in this case, with the four colors, they were all contrasting and they, they were just so completely different that I had to find a way to work with them separately and kind of bring them together in a way. So the style is something that is so completely new for me. Um, but that being said, I think that it did work out in the end and I really love the kind of pop element that came into play when it came to um, drawing this, this bird. One way that really worked in trying to figure out contrasting elements in the overall drawing was to make use of white space, so keep the paper white, and also make use of the fine liners that I received in the box. So I did use the gray marker, for example, to give some texture to the bird's head, and I did play a lot with the various lines or the outline with the fine liner just to kind of create a little bit more dimension to the drawing and to kind of separate the Posca colors from one another. Although I really like the markers that I received in this box, I think the only thing that would have been a little bit better, in my opinion, would be if we would have received a darker contrasting Posca marker. We did have four different colors, but the aqua green and the light green were very close in nature, and this was a bit hard to differentiate the colors when you put them next to each other on the paper. I'm not sure if if it's just my eyesight or just, I don't know, it's, maybe it's just me, but they kind of ended up blending into one color after a while of just looking at the paper. So I think that's the only critique I would give. Maybe it would have been nice to play around with a dark blue with the aqua green, for example. That could have been a nice combination. But as far as subscription boxes go, I think that this is probably one of the best that I received so far. And I was really, really happy with the quality of the markers I received. The sketch paper that I received was really, really cool. I actually can't wait to go back and draw some more drawings with it and uh, maybe record it for another video and or post it on my Instagram. So I'm quite excited for actually just playing around with the supplies that I received in the box and of course reading the magazine, which is um, an added bonus to the uh, subscription box. If you want to know more information about Artful, I have added their links down below in my video description, so feel free to check them out. I would definitely recommend it. Apart from that, I hope you have a good end to the week and a fantastic start to the new week, no matter if you're at home and stuck in self-isolation like I am. I hope you make the best out of it and um, pick up your pencil and sketch away. It does help with whatever stress we're dealing with um, in this uh, troubled time. But yeah, if you want to check out my Instagram, I'll be posting a link down below. Also, I'll be posting my art more frequently there as well. So you can follow any um, or follow my art journey on Instagram. And that's about everything. So wish you a great end to the weekend. And yeah, bye.